This is how I make viral Facebook photo ads for any product that I test in literally five minutes. So if you're just a beginner at dropshipping or e-commerce and you've been struggling to make video ads because that seems to be the thing that everyone preaches nowadays, everyone's saying that you need to have a high converting video ad in order to see success out of your product. But what if I told you that you can also test photo ads and still see the same amount of success of people who also use video ads? And this method I'm about to show you only requires your phone or your computer and it's completely free to do. So with that being said, let's create your first viral photo ad on Facebook. So I just pulled up a photo ad that did really well for this store and you can see that all they did was take a product and made it look like it was posted on Twitter. So they just used some fake profile and they put a simple message that says, this necklace opens up and says, you are my sunshine. And then they had two really organic looking photos of the product in the palm of someone's hand. And this entire photo ad looks really organic, especially on the Facebook feed, because when the everyday person is scrolling on their personal feed, an ad that looks something like this wouldn't really look like an ad to them. And at first glance, they would probably assume it's a friend that probably screenshotted a post from Twitter and just so happened to be sharing it with everyone on Facebook. And obviously it worked really well for the story, you can see just how much engagement this post got. So they got around 5K likes, 1K comments, 29K shares, which is insane. And then you can see a bunch of comments of people saying that they love the product. Well, I guess not necessarily all positive comments because it looks like this store probably wasn't sending out most of their products. You definitely don't wanna be like this guy. But as we keep scrolling down, you can see generally that people are going crazy over this product. And you can see that there's other stores that follow this exact same format. So this store just simply advertised this necklace, went with the same exact approach, and it did pretty well with them. You can see that they had a pretty respectable amount amount of engagement on this one. And this same exact advertiser also made this post, which also did really well for them. And it's something that I actually went over in one of my previous videos. And the product is simply just a tulip table lamp that lights up. And again, it got tons of likes, tons of comments, a lot of shares, and people seem to really like this product. And I'm sure this store made quite a few sales on this product using this ad. So now I'm just gonna show you how I would make an ad that looks just like this and how we can launch it over to Facebook for testing. And the product that I'll be demonstrating today is this envelope necklace that I found off of Zendrop. And in case you don't know what Zendrop is, it's it's basically a fulfillment platform that'll give you cheaper prices and faster delivery for any product that you want. And it's super easy and seamless to use compared to other dropshipping and fulfillment services out there. So basically, once you have a bunch of orders on your store, all you simply have to do is check all of these orders, click bulk fulfill, and at the click of a button, all of your orders will be fulfilled and shipped within 10 to 12 days to your customers on average. This is definitely something I recommend you use if you're just starting out and you need a solution for fulfilling all of your orders. And if you use my link in the description below, you will get a free $200 to fulfill any orders from your store. So in other words, if you wanted to fulfill a few orders on your store that are worth around $200, you're not gonna have to pay that out of pocket as Zendrop is just gonna take care of that for you. On top of that, you're also gonna get access to their list of trending products and you'll even get access to live coaching calls every single week where you can learn all of the latest tips with dropshipping, ad strategies, store design. And because these calls are live, you can even ask questions in real time and get your answers from any of the Zendrop coaches. So again, if you wanna take advantage of all of this, it's only available if you use my link in the description below. All right, so the first step to create a photo ad for this product, you can either use your existing Twitter account, but I would recommend just creating a new one with a fake profile picture and a fake name like I did here. So with this account, I just named it Jenny Velvets. Don't ask me why I put Velvets. It was like the first thing that came in my mind. Again, this part does not matter at all. For the profile pic, you wanna make sure you use something that is copyright free. One website that I personally use is unsplash.com. And you could just type something like Candid Girl. And if you scroll down a bit, this is the exact photo that I used that you see on my profile here. And once you have your Twitter profile set up, now we can get into the ad creation. So what I'm simply gonna do is just take a couple of screenshots of this product right here because we're gonna be using this on the Twitter post that we make on our account. And to source more images, I would recommend just looking up that product on AliExpress and try to find more listings with different images for the product. So you can see like this listing here has like other angles of the product like this. And these are some of the things that we can use on our Twitter post. But to give you one major tip when it comes to creating a high converting Twitter style photo ad, you wanna make sure that the images that you're choosing look really organic such as these. So this is just a post that I found on my Twitter feed that went naturally viral for this profile. I don't think it was an e-commerce store at all. I think it was just somebody genuinely posting about the product, but just notice that most of these photos look really organic as if somebody just took it with their iPhone. So if possible, try to go with more organic photos that look like this for the best results. Because after all, this photo ad that did super well for this store looked like it was taken on the palm of someone's hand, which again, just gives that more organic feel to the post. And once you have sourced all of the images that you need, all we have to do is create a new post here. And you can do this either on the desktop or through your phone, it doesn't really matter. And now we're gonna select our first photo. So the first photo I'm gonna choose is gonna be this one right here, because it looks like somebody's actually holding the necklace and I think 
think it looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is click edit, make sure we select square here, and then I'm going to zoom it in just a little bit further so that the product will be more visible once we create the photo ad. So I'm just going to center it a little bit like this and then click save. And for the next photo, I want to show the actual results of this product. So the little note that comes out of the envelope is ideally the next photo that I want to put. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this screenshot that I took right here. Now I'm going to click edit and make sure that it's just in a good visible position like this. Click save. And now the last thing that we need to do is create some sort of caption that uses the same type of language that people typically use on social media platforms such as Twitter. The one thing that you should not do is say something extremely general or generic such as OMG this necklace is so beautiful or say something like OMG this is the best envelope necklace ever because this is just not language that people use on Twitter. You want to go with something more realistic. So for this I'm going to say something like BRB going to go cry now because my boyfriend is the sweetest. And then I just added a couple of emojis at the end of someone crying and also a heart emoji. And now everything is finished. And now we could just click post. And there you go. Our very first Twitter style ad is completed for this product. And to quickly mention this style of ad also works for a lot of different products. So for example, this is like a levitating flower pot that I also found on Zen Job, which kind of has this wow factor effect, which also works really well for photo ads. And I went ahead and created another example out of this. So you can see I just said something really organic. And I just said, I don't know what type of wizardry this is, but I want it. And I just have a couple of photos that show case this product and you can even do the same thing with funny products such as this so for example this is basically an iphone case that looks like a frying pan and for the caption i just said babe what's for dinner tonight and then it says the dinner and it basically just shows these two images this is typically the post that you see on twitter and what really blends in well with social media feeds that being said with whatever product you decide to test using this type of format i would recommend creating at least two to three more variations of that exact same product before launching them over onto facebook so for this product in particular i created another variation with a different caption that just says pov you've been together for three years and he still reminds you that you're important and I just used a couple of different images and for the third variation I just said he gave this to me yesterday and I just which basically gives this feeling like the person is speechless and again I just use different images to portray this product so once you've created all of your Twitter posts for the products that you want to test the next thing that you need to do is log into your Twitter account ideally on your smartphone and then we're simply going to take a screenshot of those posts on our phone but for whatever reason you don't have access to a phone you can also just take a screenshot out of the desktop I just prefer the way it looks when it's taken from the phone. And once you've taken a screenshot of all of your Twitter posts, you just want to send them over to your computer. And then now we're going to use Canva, which is completely free to use. The link will be in the description below. Once you're here, we're going to click create a design and we're going to select Instagram post square. And from here, you just want to upload all of the screenshots that you took from your phone. So I'm going to upload the first screenshot that I took here. And then all I'm going to do is just expand it so that it fills up the entire white background here so that we can get rid of the areas where it says post and probably line it up somewhere around here. And there you go. It's basically done. And now all you have to do is do the same thing for the other post that you made on your Twitter account. So I went ahead and quickly did that here. So you can see I have my second variation here and also my third variation right here. And now the next thing you need to do is simply download all of your photo ads. So now that your photo ads are ready to go, I'm just going to give you a quick low budget Facebook ad strategy that you can use to easily launch these ads for your product. So once you're on the ads manager, you just simply want to click create, you're going to click sales, click continue, and you want to make sure that it's a manual sales campaign and click continue. From here, you can just name the campaign after your product. And when you scroll down, you want to leave all of these options unchecked, click next for the first ad set name, we're going to call it stacked interest, make sure to select website, performance goal, maximum number of conversions, select your pixel and select purchase for the conversion event, then you're going to keep scrolling down for the daily budget, it really just depends on whatever the price of your product is. My general rule is that if your product price is under $70, you can get away with a budget of 10. But if your product is around $70 or more, then I would start with a budget of $20. For the start date, I'm always going to start it at the next day at midnight. This is just where I've seen the best results with all of the ads I've ever tested. And as we keep scrolling down for locations, we're going to X this out and we're going to make sure to select United States or whatever country that you're targeting. If you're testing at a low budget of $10, I would strongly recommend only selecting one country. But if you're testing with $20, then maybe you can include a couple of more English speaking countries such as UK, Canada and Australia. But with a budget of $10, we just want everything to go to the United States. And once you scroll down, we're going to select original audience options and use original audience. And from here, you want to select the age range that's for your product and also the gender. When it comes to this product, I'm going to leave everything in broad because there's obviously going to be boyfriends or men out there who will see this ad and may want to buy that for their girlfriend. So for this, we're going to leave everything to all genders. And of course, this is a product that can appeal to almost any age range. So we're going to keep it as broad as possible. For the targeting, we're going to select a few interests that are related to the product. So the first thing that comes to my mind is jewelry. So we're going to select that. Then you're going to click suggestions. And now we're just going to stack a few interests that are related to this product. So I'm just going to select fashion accessories. We're going to select necklace because it is a necklace. I'm going to select pendant, handmade jewelry, and jewelry design. So this gives us an estimated audience size of 100 million, which is
is really, really broad, and it's definitely what we want to be looking for. As we scroll down, you can keep everything the same here, then click next. And this is where you're going to be uploading all of the creatives that we just made on Canva. So for the ad name, I'm going to call it Twitter ad version one. You want to make sure to select your Facebook page. We're going to create an ad and then click manual upload and select single image or video. And we're going to deselect multi advertiser ads. And then over here, we're going to add image. And you can see I've already uploaded my creatives here. So I'm going to select this one and then click next. For these options, we want to select everything to be original. Do not crop any of these. Click next. For optimizations, we're going to turn off image template. We're going to scroll down. We can leave these settings as is. And then we can also leave these options off and then click done. And over here is where you're basically going to write all of the text that's going to be above and below your actual ad creative. If you need help for this, I do have a chat GPT prompt that you can use in the link below. So here's an example of what my prompt was able to create. So I just put something really simple in just one sentence. It just says a special necklace that carries a personalized love note just for you. For the headline, it just says personalize one today. And the description just says they won't be disappointed. So this part of the ad creation process is honestly something you don't need to overcomplicate at all. Again, the most important thing is the actual ad creative itself, because that's mainly what people are going to be seeing when they're scrolling on their feed. And lastly, for the call to action, we're going to select shop now. And then you want to make sure to paste your website URL that leads to your product page. And now that our first ad variation is finished, all you want to do is select this option here and then select quickly duplicate. And then this time you're just going to rename it to version two. And then you want to scroll down, delete your original ad creative and make sure to select your second variation that we made on Canva. Click next and follow the exact same process that I just went over a couple of minutes ago. Once you've completed everything, it should look something like this. So you should have three different Twitter ads that are connected to the ad set that we just created that was called stacked interest. And the last thing that you want to do is simply duplicate this ad set, make sure this option is checked, but instead we're going to call this broad. And what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to all of our interest targeting. And we're simply just going to X everything out. And basically what we're doing here is leaving no interest at all. And we're just allowing the Facebook algorithm to find the audience for us. Once that's ready to go, you just simply want to click publish. And once that is published, now your campaign is complete and your product is ready for launch. So in case you need help on what you need to be looking out for once this campaign is launched, make sure to watch my Facebook ad strategy video here where I cover everything about that and also how to scale your campaign if your product or your ad ends up being successful. As a quick tip before we end off this video, I wanted to stress the fact that when it comes to being successful with dropshipping or e-commerce in general, it's all about constant testing of your creative. So even if the first three creatives that you made with Canva don't end up working, it doesn't always mean that the product is bad. It just either means that you need to have a more engaging caption here, or most importantly, you need to have the proper combination of the photos of your products that create the most interest for the customers on Facebook. So of course, we're never going to know which combination of photos is going to be our winning photo ad, but that's why it's a constant game of testing. And that's basically what it takes in order to be successful with dropshipping. That being said, if you also want to improve your chances of success when testing your products, every good ad like this also needs to be paired with a high converting store design. So make sure to watch my video here as I show you everything from A to Z on how I designed my Shopify stores to give me the best conversion rate possible. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this entire video. I hope you did find it valuable. And if you've been struggling with making video ads, I hope by testing photo ads like this is able to help you find success for any of the next products that you decide to test. And if you currently have some sales rolling in in your store, don't forget to use my link below for Zendrop, which is going to give you 50% off plus $200 in free order credits to fulfill any of your orders. And feel free to join my free Discord group as well, where you can be connected with like-minded entrepreneurs and other people who are also doing dropshipping and e-commerce. Once again, I thank you so much for watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.